Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket, dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more. Five, 10, 9, first, Most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Now here's Cunningham. Wiseman finds Cunningham. Bagley for three. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers, what made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. Beasley against Burks. Just three to shoot. Sends it home from three-point land. Russell's got five. An assortment of shots in Russell's arsenal. Just a quick catch and shoot right there. Russell against Cunningham. Here's Wiseman. That falls. Nice feed that time from Cunningham. Making a statement here early. Going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's nice to see him be assertive instead of settling for a jump shot, especially in the first quarter. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. And here's Detroit. It's a five-point game. And there's the lob. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. MP against Wiseman. Davis with a screen on Burks. Outside Russell. The three is up. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Cunningham up top. Guarded by Russell. This one for three. And it's Cunningham missing. Now Los Angeles with it. A big stretch here going. Ten to two. Second shot opportunity. MP no good. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Such a graceful move. Showing off the floater game. Los Angeles has gone two of two at the perimeter. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And MP throws it down. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Cunningham outside. The three. The Pistons rebound. Bagley, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Beasley, pass to James. Over Bagley. Here's MP. Oh, a dunk and a foul! A pop. Are you crazy? Where's the foul? It'll be on Marvin Bagley. Free throw good, MP. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. The Pistons have gone two of six to open up this game. Cunningham passes to Wiseman. The shot's good on the assist by Cunningham. The Lakers in the lead. To the inside. Wiseman with a steal. Cunningham with the ball. Beasley covers. Cunningham against Beasley. Wiseman, the pass to Cunningham. Six on the shot clock. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. The three, James. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Good. 
need to do more than that to keep him from getting the ball in the post. Agreed. He's just too dominant inside. So you're better off stopping him from getting the ball in the first place. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Great find by Braun using his basketball IQ. If you don't understand how smart he is, just ask him. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. The Pistons trailing. Cunningham outside. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's the three. The shot misses. And Los Angeles the other way now. Last time, they met in Los Angeles. In their last game against this opponent, they secured the win because their second unit really stepped up. Yeah, the reserves added another dimension to their offense, and the opposition had no answers on how to slow them down. So it's Detroit now. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. On the wing, Davis. Beasley for three. Ooh, almost had him. Focused on reaching their potential. The Lakers making a switch here. Vanderbilt's checked in. So where do you see the ceiling for this younger Pistons team as they continue to grow? You know, B.A., it's always difficult to predict the limits of a team. But as long as they continue to steadily develop, they could become a unit with playoff potential. Now here's Cunningham. He's been an important part of this offense, averaging around 22 points a game. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Here's MP. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Yeah, anytime you put the ball up near Durin, there's a chance it ends up back in your face. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. Five to shoot. Here's Durin. Oh, MP with a block. Vanderbilt with it. He's averaging almost five points a game. MP, no good. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Bogdanovich passes to Cunningham to the middle. From 13, Duran, no good. For Los Angeles, they've got 7 of 15 to find the net. Outside Russell. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got his fourth assist in this one. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. I love it. Making their own luck. You don't want to let off the gas with the lead. Continue to make things happen. Now here's Cunningham. Pass to Bogdanovich. Down low. Diallo right side. Picked by Stewart. They need this. And he's going to the line for two. You may have some believers, MP, but I ain't one of them. Here's Beasley. He's got five. Outside Davis. Pass to MP. Russell up top. Just five on the clock. Back to MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. And so in the game for the Lakers, a lot of firepower at the forward with LeBron at the three and Davis at the four. Malik Beasley is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's MP in at the five. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the 76ers played some superb basketball. He added 55 points and really hit the boards. Tremendous production in that area as well. He was focused, very productive, 
The team leaned on him all night. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. And I'll be in. First personal foul, team four. Yeah. Ivy and Jalen Duran, the Pistons taking arguably the two best athletes in the 22 draft. The youth movement is on, and Detroit is definitely fun to watch. MP. Here's James to the paint. Here's MP. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one. Here's Cunningham. Rebound, the Lakers. MP's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Bogdanovich against James. That one falls. He's now one for three. In the paint, LeBron James is capable of running right over the defender. That is athletic. Bagley up top. Pass to Burks. And here's Bogdanovich. Checked by James. Back to Burks. Over Beasley. Oh, ho! MP with a block. And there's the shot clock. Los Angeles ball. Los Angeles has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. And MP throws it down. Balanced play has given them the lead and also quieted this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. Three-pointer off the mark. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Pass to Davis. Inside, Wiseman with a steal. Cunningham outside. Bagley, a screen on Russell. Four on the clock. And out of bounds, Los Angeles will have it. Ah, yeah, no. They are really their own worst enemy right now. It's why they find themselves way behind. Gabriel, he's checked in for the Lakers. Who poked away. Wiseman with a steal. Cunningham with the ball. Russell covering. Left side Bagley. To the paint. The jump hook. That one drops. Three for six now. Coach is loving the ball movement. Los Angeles has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. James passes to Beasley. MP, a screen on Burks. Offensive rebound. Really thought he had this one, and the defense, they were giving it to him. Now here's Bogdanovich. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Bagley for three, nails it from three. Bagley's got seven points. He's had a rough start to this game, and that's being nice. But he's gotten back on track here in the second. And the shot counts. He's fouled. Second personal foul. At the line for the Lakers. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. MP left side. Pass to Gabriel. Oh, there's the alley! And MP throws it down. Just flawless timing right there. Right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. Takes the three. The Lakers with a rebound. 
MP's got 11 rebounds in the game. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. And that one's good. There's so much power on LeBron's drive. The defense, uh, they just more or less clear out. Detroit shooting just 32% here in the second. Cunningham with the ball. Russell covering. Here's Bogdanovich. Ho oh, ho! MP with a block. Burks finds Cunningham. Out to the wing. Pass to Bogdanovich. The shot to stop the run. Here's Duran. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. And he lobs it up. And MP throws it down. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers just dominating the opposition as they maintain a 36-point advantage. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Welcome, everybody. And as we start to work our way through the season, a sneak peek at the Rookie of the Year race. Well, I'm not surprised to see Paolo Bantero making this kind of impact. Young fella can do it all. He fits the mold of the modern day. Taking some time now to look at our matchup. Well, everything is going right for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've got the defense seeing double. Quick ball movement, defenders are a step behind. It's no wonder this lead is probably insurmountable. Inside, outside, dink, dunk, swing. I'm dizzy, that's why I'm about to drink some of this shake. Thanks for tuning in. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. The Pistons shooting around 33%, not the best offensive efficiency. Cunningham is out there with Alec Burks. Then there's James Wiseman, then it's Marvin Bagley, and it's Bogdanovich in at the three. That's the group for Detroit right now. Wiseman, and it's Wiseman with the chance. Well orchestrated, and then the pass is right on the money. James passes to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Russell against Cunningham. Outside Bogdanovich. Screen by Wiseman. Bogdanovich against James. Shot clock at three. And here's Cunningham outside. Rebounded by the Lakers. MP's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And that one's good. Weissman. His shot has been on point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. The three from Russell. They get it back. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Making the most of the second chance opportunity. Hey, the hustle is real, and the hustle is rewarded. You know, the point forward is an archetype that by now fans are familiar with. Grant, you were one of the OGs at the point forward. How's that position evolved in your mind? Well, it's evolved because so many players today have the skill set to be a point forward. Before me, there were guys like Paul Pressey and Scottie Pippen in the 80s and early 90s. But as I said, players today, the skill level is so elite. And with this positionless basketball that we're in, you must have a point forward or two on your team to be successful. That's a guy you want taking shots, a quality offensive player. 
And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the Pistons focusing on improving their scoring. Coach Dwayne Casey said, quote, this is an offensive league in today's three because you can't make enough twos to win. It's tough to defend the three, so you've got to keep that scoreboard moving. Back to you. Floor spacing at a premium, Allie. Thank you. Stewart, he's checked in for the two. And the Lakers also making a change. Schroeder, he's checked in for Russell. And last season, the NBA mourned the passing of Hall of Famer Bob Lanier. He played his first decade with the Pistons. A sad loss for the NBA. Now, he represented them seven times as an all-star. But for all his greatness on the court, he'll be remembered just as much for the work he did off the court as the league's global ambassador. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Cunningham against Schroeder. Down low. Here's MP. Kick out to Brown. He buries it from three. Brown's gotten his third basket of the night. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. Wiseman against MP. And the Pistons make... We've got 113 left in the third. Cunningham against Russell. Pass to Burks. Oh, great D that time from MP. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often times than that. And that one goes out of bounds. Last time. You guys are sleepwalking. You look like you don't even want to be out there. And the Pistons shooting around 32% in the third quarter. There's 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Burks for three. The Lakers with a rebound. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Pass to Russell. To the middle. Take it away! Burks against James. Here's Cunningham. Uses the glass on the layup. Cunningham's got nine points. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. MP, the pass to Russell. Now Burks. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. And that one's good. Bagley. Here's MP. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. MP's got 32 points in the game. And so it's Los Angeles. group out there. MP is checked in for the Lakers. Schroeder comes in for Vildoza. And Detroit is shooting only 31% in the game. And so in the game for the Lakers, they've got Lonnie Walker. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Troy Brown. Then it's MP. And it's Gabriel in at the four. Yeah, I'm surprised. Just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Bogdanovich on the wing. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? Pass to MP. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often, diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. 
not his best efficiency this quarter. And look, sometimes that's how it goes. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. Wiseman a screen on Brown. Here's Hayes. No good off the back of the rim. Ooh, I rushed that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Here's Gabriel. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, Grant, in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters, and you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. Cunningham with some nice D. And here's Hayes. Pass to Wiseman. Back to Hayes. Grant, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big-name stars struggled to deliver. Is that every year, or you think that was an anomaly? I, you know, B.A., I think it was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season, there's been a lot of basketball played, and I think it's impacted a lot of players. So I think moving forward normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason and big name stars will continue to excel and thrive in the years to come. Pass to Wiseman. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you gotta shoot your way out of the slump. Even for him, he finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Cunningham against Schroeder. Now here's Bogdanovich. Pass to Wiseman. Bogdanovich with a screen on MP. Back to Bogdanovich. And here's Cunningham. Takes a three. And the three-pointer goes. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Here's Gabriel. And a foul called on the way. He certainly wants to play with his son. We know that. Now, whether that's in the purple and gold, only time will tell. It would definitely be fun to see them both with this storied franchise. Diallo's checked in for the Pistons. Cunningham against Schroeder. Here's Wiseman. And they'll get another chance. Yet another possession they've managed to hold on to. They are really in control on offense. Five on the clock. That three's off the mark. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Gabriel's shot is off. The Pistons shooting an unimpressive 30% in this game so far. Schroeder against Cunningham. And the 75 list came out last season, the top 75 players in NBA history. RJ, who do you think was the biggest snub? Without a doubt, the biggest snub was Dwight Howard. When you see what Dwight Howard was and was able to do, and I understand if you want to look at the last five, six years of his career, but don't gloss over the first 10. He led a team to the NBA Finals, battling against the Lakers as the best player on the team dominated the Eastern Conference, beat LeBron James. And we've seen how hard that is to do in the Eastern Conference. So to me, he is one of the top 75 players of all time.
Stewart, a screen on Schroeder. And here's Cunningham outside. MP, the pass to Schroeder. And stolen by Stewart. Out left to the wing. Diallo outside. Pass to Cunningham. Here's Stewart. Lots of room. The shot's good on the assist by Cunningham. Cunningham's got eight assists here tonight. Schroeder with it. MP with it. Guarded by Wiseman. And stolen by Cunningham. Shoots over Schroeder. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Stewart. Activity on the glass. That's a possession that could have gotten away from him. And he drops in the layup off the glass. MP's got 38 points. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. This is what you expect from him, just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth. And as recovery and injury prevention goes high-tech, Richard, many players are starting to wear the trackers to measure the wear and tear. Well, look, wear and tear, at the end of the day, players have more things to their access. It doesn't matter if you're talking about medical equipment, treatment, uh, doctors, trainers. So there's going to be wear and tear because that's professional sports, but more stuff today are, have been instituted to help the players recover faster. And hopefully prolong their careers. If they're good enough. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Lakers. And it was a big time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And they played well tonight, picking up win number 24 of the year. And even though this season series was only two games, a sweep is still a sweep. And what a huge performance it was for MP. I think his biggest contribution may have been on the boards. He kept plays alive and denied second chances. Now here's Bagley. Tight defense on him. Ooh, a misfire there. He's made five. He's missed five. Here's MP, using his post moves to get the two points. MP's got 42 in the game. This is what winning is all about, playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Bagley makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Woo, just selling the defense on the pump fake. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Walker passes to MP. Rebound Detroit. Stewart hits them both. The Lakers dominating the game. Here's MP. And there's the drive. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. MP's got 44. Hayes against Schroeder. Diallo left side. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Please exit the building carefully and have a safe trip home. We'll see you next time. Oh Lord, Jesse made another one, another one, another one.